Well, Risha, let me turn to you because you told CNN that you started researching Democratic National Committee rules for replacing a candidate a year ago. You were researching that. Tell us why you think Biden should step aside. Well, uh, firstly, I think uh, President Biden uh, had promised that he would run for a single term. And we remember that. And uh, clearly his health is failing, uh, uh, potential Parkinson's. And uh, uh, well, just to, to be clear, I, I, don't wanna, I want you to finish your, your response. But just to be clear, the White House did put out a statement just last night from a doctor explaining why there had been visits by a neurological specialist to the White House. And as part of an annual exam, he had met with him. There's no indication of Parkinson's. But please finish your point. Yes. So, you know, essentially, if Biden ends up running, uh, potentially the Democrats could lose the Senate, the House and the White House. And it's going to be a bloodbath. Uh, the blue states uh, that we have held for many decades might potentially turn red. Uh, Trump is doing well when he runs against Biden in those uh, states. And then the swing states, the battleground states, they are looking terrible. So at this point, all the polling indicates that Trump is going to win. So we need to send the best and the brightest out there to run against Trump. He's, he's beatable, but we need to send somebody who's got the energy of a commander-in-chief. Uh, here in Silicon Valley, we have had great leaders and companies thrive because of good leaders. At this point, it's debatable if uh, Biden can, uh, can lead our nation. You know, carrying the nuclear football is, is, a, is a huge deal. And uh, we're not sure right now if Biden is going to be able to do his job. Are you concerned, Will, in, in hearing the concerns that Rishi has raised? I mean, 